Developing Artificial Intelligence in a Game This is the third part of the tutorial on uh, Unity Game Development. So today we are going to be discussing how to develop this uh, artificial intelligence in a game. So we have this uh, AI character Ethan as you can see the final results and I am trying to follow this guy. This He is going to go over different paths and uh, follow a pattern uh, using animation. So we're going to develop this uh, today, hopefully. As you can see, he's moving around and yeah, I am having difficulty following him. So, okay. So let's start. The first thing we do is we add uh, we need to need add a navigation and once we are in the navigation pane we need to look at our terrain and the terrain was developed in the last part of the tutorial so the terrain must be labeled in a specific way it should be navigation static so it's already labeled that way so it's something that is going to be navigated so we go to the bake tab see and there are two aspects here so we just click bake uh, using the default value let's see how it goes see the blue paths this represents the areas which are walkable and um, you can see some of the features are missing so look around so there are some regions which are not very nice to walk so for example an agent could get stuck over here on top of the hills now this is not something we want to, to work on so let's change it a little bit okay let's try baking again uh, okay so this has improved a little bit Okay, um, let's change it further. We can also change some other things like the slope height. Let's increase it a little bit and see what happens. Okay, okay, this looks much better. And but there's still areas we can cover more if we keep changing. We can, uh, you know have a nav mesh for the entire area for our terrain so what's interesting here is that we've basically been able to create very easily walkable areas and um, based on uh, the heights and uh, different features of a human art character so i'm going to change it to even further just see how it goes okay so most of the mountains are now uh, walkable and uh, they are part of our nav mesh um, so this is very interesting because now we can have some ai agents which can just go over our paths so the next thing we do is we take this uh, uh, terrain and we see there is this uh, nav mesh part inside the terrain now this is the uh, path which uh, our AI generated uh, rather unity AI generated automatically so now we have to add our um, model and that model is called Ethan so let's see okay so let's just uh, drag and drop and see how it goes now where is it okay it's standing right in the edge of our world so we need to move it around someplace okay so any nice place yeah this could be a nice place yeah so 
So we can look at Ethan, which is our NPC, non-player character. And he's going to be moving around. So we add this, uh, you can see, we added this just to uh, have a component uh, for the Colleen. Let's change it to a reasonable number. Okay, this looks realistic. Yeah, the, the radius also. Okay, now we want to add um, a script to it. So, because uh, we want to uh, basically set a destination for our agent. So, inside it, we add something called a Namash agent. This is the key thing. So, we start with uh, a null value. Uh, now, this is giving an error because uh, we didn't uh, initialize it properly. Okay, we also need a transform. Uh, this is for the destination. Why do we need this? Because the destination will be an empty game object and then we can set the destination to that. So we uh, corrected it by adding in unity engine.ai in the using and then in the start we can um, do a get component to get the nav mesh agent. Okay, once we are in the update we can set the destination for the agent and this should be it so the destination dot position destination is a transform and now over here we need uh, the destination and because that's going to be null for now okay so the empty game object let's call it destination Okay, one thing is missing. Um, Ethan does not know about it, so uh, that's empty right now. Let's uh, see the position of the destination right now. Yeah, okay. So if we do a reset, we see it's uh, in a weird position. Um, let's change it to something interesting. Okay. Now you see this guy, our NPC is moving, and uh, in the NAMESH we can see him move around, and dynamically his path, uh, as it adjusts, we can see it over here. So one thing is done. So we are basically having our NPC move towards uh, a point which is the destination. But this doesn't solve our problem because we want to essentially uh, move it. So let's add an animation. Um, let's dock it over here. And now we want to create an animation. So let's create a folder for that. Okay, so looks, looks nice. Okay, so we created an animation for our destination. So what we want to do is we want to move this around. So uh, let's uh, add the position here. Okay. So it goes from 0 to 1 and we can add different points, key points to it. So let's play around with it a little bit and see how it goes. You see this, you can play, click on play and this shows you the animation. Okay, these are the different points. 
so we can keep changing these points and play around with them the idea is that um, the destination is the one which is moving and uh, as it moves around uh, Ethan will try to go to that destination so he'll automatically uh, follow a path let's see how it goes so you can see the destination is moving uniformly from one side to the other Okay, when we run it, let's see what happens with it. Okay. <laughs> it's really confusing. It just doesn't know because it's really fast. Um, so it's going here, there, going berserk. He wants to go to two different places. You see many different places as the destination keeps moving. And uh, yeah. He doesn't know what to do. It's really confused. So let's make it more interesting. Um, so I'm going to keep playing around with other keyframes, add new points. See? Okay. This is a nice zigzag pattern, but not the ideal, so. Okay, we we'll go here, double click here. Let's see. Yeah, this is interesting. So this is got, destination is moving around now. And... Uh, well, we can change this later on, but just for now, we just keep this uh, at different locations. So, yeah. Some of the speeds are really weird. Some are fast, some are slow. Okay, so this could be our final one. Let's see how it goes now. Yeah. Yes, we have a really weird destination moving around and now the problem here is this is a curve we don't want this we want this to be flat so let's block select and let's try to do something here in here okay what we can do here is right click and click constant here see you see this uh, is now constant so, so it's yeah okay so we can go here and uh, we want so it's very simple we go over here in this uh, state machine and uh, we basically change the speed you see when you run it here you can see the change in states and the position and so let's play around with it Okay, so let's see what happens. So if you go to the animator, we can uh, first see how it works. Let's see, it's really fast. So he's having a difficult time following these. So go back to animator. Let's change the value to a very small one. See how it goes here. Okay, go to the scene view. Yeah, this takes a little bit of time. This guy, yeah. Yeah, 
he's following the Namesh and uh, you know try to follow this direction and yeah some of the locations are really weird he's watching um, in the abyss and just seeing <laughs> what happens yeah Ethan <laughs> what are you doing here man Ethan is lost yeah he's watching see the edge of the universe the 13th floor yeah end of the simulation so he's just walking standing here we can fix that yeah he even stands there for some time so yeah then he goes around 